So you do bird of firm. Hey, I'm Vince, by the way. Oh, uh, nice uh, uh, to meet you, uh, uh, you. You play with what it is, and then you go, well, check this out. You got the cutest little hand. Let me see. And then the other one, notice I bring the other one in by being very firm. And now you fold your fingers around and you move. You give her the hip, almost like a bad hug. You go to the side and go, no, 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 you super fucking cute. Okay? Mm -hmm. And right there, you pull away and. You can keep it at that, but most likely you're gonna go and go like he's su super fucking cute. That's why you're getting a kiss right now. Mm. And to have a second kiss, you go, what flavor is that? <laughs> okay, so in my book, Seven Night Sex, I explain this. Today I'm gonna demonstrate it. Four steps to really powerfully arouse a woman following her own mapping, body mapping. So, the first thing is, uh, don't go linear. Linear would be like, okay, because we're kissing, now I'm gonna touch her breast, I'm touching her breast, next I go for her pussy. Uh, once in a while you can go that way, but the slightest little sign of like her like being uncomfortable, here's what you do. You go close to the edge, but not all the way, and you stay there only briefly. If she's wearing pants, what I love, or panties, is you just, I'm assuming there's, there's like the space to do it, you pass through like that, okay, stay at the edge for a little bit, and instead of being the guy that wants to go under or unzip, you just tease at the edge, it could be the same thing up here, I don't know if you can see it, you could caress like the edge, the contour of her bra, oh my god, she doesn't have a bra, so, you, so that's step one, at the edge, don't go too far, but be at the edge. It's like, oh, no, is he gonna? And don't stay there too long. I love bottom oh. with clothes on. Oh, hello, hey, my neighbors. How are you guys doing? You know there's a charge to watch through the window again. Please, oh. sir, put your dick back in your pants. Oh, no, that's a, that's a girl. I want the world backwards. I want it to be like, like some guy who's just practicing. Put that pussy. Very innocent, and there's like two, three chicks in the bushes going. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna come! Look at that guy dancing! <laughs> you're gonna shift and you're gonna get very hypnotic where you're gonna talk and describe things that are not obvious that are happening now. So for example, you go side to side, you go, yeah, you know, for me, it's more about like the anticipation, the moment. And sometimes, you of course, you're gonna bring up the topic of sexual fantasies, yeah? And, uh, well, here it is, that's a little bonus. Maybe we should go to the closet to tell you this one. Let's go. I'm gonna fucking open it. It could even be just like silence. If you're playing music, you go, I don't know, there's music in the background. And you're sitting there. And then it'll be something as simple as just, you know, wow. just honoring each other, caressing the skin like that softly. Or just touching your hair. Or maybe a bit more like uh, just looking at each other. Mm -hmm. Maybe holding hands. That's different. And then you never know what's gonna come. <sighs> and you start to wonder, and even if you kept it, even honestly, as much as I bet you're like a royal fuck, I can tell, even if we just kept it at that, <laughs> that would be pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and then you act almost like you're going to be retarded, and now you have two options. If the girl is still like, oh, I better get going soon, and again, this is not the case here, but this is for situations that you encounter a lot, and... Uh, uh, you realize that, okay, she's not going to do that much. You go, but you know what? I want to do just one thing. Okay? It, and it's not what you think it is. It doesn't have to be anything. Here. I just want to feel you a little bit. Come here. I just want to feel you, yeah. Uh, nothing too crazy, though. And then maybe you combine with that, like the one where you, you're disqualifying. Mm -hmm. Then you go, and you know what? Just because they're so lovely. Here. I want to give them a little kiss. And that's all. And I don't even... And if you notice she pulls back, you go, I'm not even going to give them I just want to be right there. And maybe you make her laugh, you go, hello. Oh. <laughs> so that's the mild version. And this is very important also because for a lot of guys, the girl is there, nothing is happening. If they don't make a little something happen at least, at least that means the next thing they're going to be fucking friends. If she didn't go, she's not going to come back and go much further. The other one would be the more hardcore version. I got to watch out. I got so much metal on me. I don't want to scratch you or anything.